Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Ross Pierce, uh, Liam's... Are you his head coach or second coach? Yeah, head coach, yeah. Head coach, and, he's, yeah. and Liam's fighting later on tonight uh, against Reese Bellotti for the British and Commonwealth Super Featherweight uh, titles at the, Odu, uh, the O2 Indigo. And um, yes, how are you? I'm all good, mate. How are you? You good? Yeah, I'm, I'm very good. Thank you for coming on. That's all right. No problem. Thanks for having us. Anytime. Um, yeah, so Lee, we'll talk about Liam's last fight before we'll talk about that. So Liam beat Cash Ashfak for... That's it. He beat Ashfak for the, uh, the vacant British title. Um, he was meant to fight Dil Magani before that, but he, he pulled out due to injury. Um, and yeah, he, he, we went up there. We was on the away show up in Newcastle and he, and he pulled it off. I don't like know he how always one... does. I don't know how one judge had it one twelve one twelve. Yeah, I think um, I'm not too sure to be honest. One, I know one judge. I think actually gave it to Ashfat. Um, oh yeah, or was that? Oh yeah, one I judge think, might have given it to Ashfat. Sorry, I think he gave it to him one fifteen one thirteen, which was which was a crazy scorecard. I mean, I must admit, in that in that moment in time, I, I thought, oh no, they're gonna they're gonna do us here, um, but. Honestly, the whole place thought Liam won. Everyone come up to me after. I said Liam won. He he must have been one of the only people to fault Ashfat won. But it was it was a great fight. Take nothing away from Ashfat. It was a great fight, and Liam Liam was just relentless. He he was very knocked fit, him down three very times. Tough. He knocked him down twice actually. He knocked him down twice. Um, I think it was like the fifth and maybe the eighth or ninth. Mm. Um. But he finished really well, Liam, like like he always does. And he he start the thing is he starts really fast and he he does maintain it. He's he's a bit of a freak of nature, Liam. He um he's got an engine, a big engine. Mm -hmm. Of course, um yeah um I had one sixteen one twelve or one seventeen one twelve something like that. I thought it was quite wide. Personally. What to Liam? Yeah, yeah. I mean, at at the time, it is it is. When when you're there and you're ringside and obviously I'm his coach as well, so you're emotionally invested and it, it's 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 quite hard to score it at the time. But I, I I thought I thought at the time maybe three or four rounds Ashback might have won. Being four rounds being generous, you know what I mean. But mm. um, I I was very confident Liam had won when when that final bell went. Mm -hmm. And what did it mean to you guys as a team uh, winning the British title? Oh, it was, it was, I mean, it was the best, the best night. Of, I mean, I'm only 32, so I'm still a young coach at the moment, but um, it was the best night for me um, so far. And tonight will be even bigger when he pulls it off. And uh, But no, but to go up there, win, like up in Newcastle as well, it it was it was brilliant. What well, coming home with that British title the next day was amazing. I do wasn't he the underdog, and he he's I think he's the underdog going into tonight. Am I right? The last three fights we've had, I mean we've had we've had a few fights together now, and the, the, but the last three fights, obviously including tonight, 12, all twelve rounds as well, and he will he went into the Joshua Wahab fight as the underdog. Um, which was the one before Ashfak at your call. And, you know, he was a big KO specialist. He was the WBO African champion. He was like 22 and 0 with 17 knockouts or something. He, no one really wanted to face him. They were saying he's going to be the next Richard Comey. Um, and when Liam went in there and, and, and beat him over 12 rounds, that was a big night. And then that earned him the British title. Um and when he, yeah, Ashfat, he was the underdog. But obviously, Ashfat was a GB Olympian. He, you know, he's got, he was a matron boy as well just before. So he had, he had, he had the pedigree. You know what I mean? He, he, had, he had. Um, but the only thing I'll say about someone like the the Liams out there that come through sort of the smaller hall shows and they do it the Southern area, the English, the British, the Commonwealth, they do it that way. Is you have tough fights along the way. Whereas sometimes with, say, like your match rooms or when you've got the big promoters behind you, you don't necessarily have them really hard 50-50 fights along the way. 
you know. But that's 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 one positive about not having a promoter, I suppose. If you look at it like that, is you have the hard fights and they build you to them big fights. Who's Liam's promoter? Well, we we're not signed with anyone. Um, the, obviously, the last one was Wasserman on the Josh Kelly undercard, which was his own as well. Which Liam and, stole of, the show. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. He did that night, and and obviously this one tonight is Matchroom, and you know you know the Matchroom motto: winner stays on. So you know, let's hope Liam goes and gets that win, and then he can um, stay on the Matchroom. Talk about, of course, he's got uh, Reese Bellotti, who's uh, a two-time, well, two-weight Commonwealth champion. Um, yes. Yeah, just talk about uh, Reese Bel- uh, Bellotti as an opponent, and what do you make of Reese as a as an opponent overall? Oh, Re- Reese is top quality, and um, like we know that we're fully prepared for that. Uh, we're fully prepared for twelve hard rounds, Reese. Right, well, I know Reese personally as well, and his team. Um, Reese has been down for sparring with Jeff Afori, uh, Boyd Jones has sparred him. So I've seen Reese spar a, hand, a good handful of times as well, as well as watched him fight. So I do know Reese quite well. Um, Take much out of those spars that they've he's had with your fighters? Not really. I mean, you can never take too much out of spars, but at the end of the day. What you do in your spas generally does happen on fight night. You know, it, it has a part to play. You know what I mean? It's it's who you are as a fighter and it's what you do as a fighter. Um, so, but, but no, you can't take... Liam and Reese have never sparred, funny enough. And considering they are both local boys, it's, it's actually quite good that they've not sparred. Um, but no, I don't take too much from it, to be honest with you, because... It's very different. Once you've got them eight ounce gloves on, no head guard. It's a bit different when you've got 16 ounces head guard on. You can sit in the pocket a little bit more. You don't get marked up. You don't get the cuts. Whereas tonight, eight ounce gloves under the lights, you know, it's it's very different. Mm-hmm. How how's camp? Um, how did camp go? Camp's gone really well. It's gone really well, actually. Um, it's the first time that Liam's actually took a lot of time or he took like four or five weeks off work basically since we got the call up he finished he finished work up and he so he's he's trained like a full-time professional for the first time in his career really I mean even the British title fight last time I think he only took like two weeks off um he's had a nutritionist for this camp as well which which is great and that's helped him and that's fueled him up for every training session you know um he made the weight comfortably, which is a big part because Liam Liam's a big boy. He's a he's a big super featherweight. Um, so no, camp's gone really well. It's gone really well. I'm 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 pleased. Mm-hmm. Uh, how how are you guys feeling? Is it on fight day like confident, confident, excited? I mean, it's going to be a great fight. I don't think you can expect a boring fight. It's going to be great. They're they're two top operators. They both like to fight. Um, they both give it their all. The one thing I say with Liam is, is, he's Liam's not that guy that wakes up on Sunday morning with regret. He he leaves it all in there. He's a he's um yeah he's a warrior. Liam. He's he's as tough as they come. He's got a great mindset. Um, of course, um, they're both. Because last time they both were in. Because they're both. Because Reese also likes um. Going on to the, uh, fighting in in the pocket as well, uh, and Liam does. Uh, are we? Ex- are you guys expecting like a full? Out, can we expect a full out like dog fight almost tonight? War. Um, I think in elements there will be. Uh, definitely there will be times where they're just locking horns and going at it. Um, but you know we've got a few tricks up our sleeve, and I'm sure Reese will have a few tricks up his sleeve as well. And it's 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 just going to be a great fight. It's just going to be a great fight, and it's one that I'm really looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's for the British and Commonwealth. Talk about it being for both titles. I mean, win this, and you're top of the domestic tree, aren't you? Yeah. Well, this is the last belt. I think it's the last belt for both of them. Actually, I think Reese has won Southern Area English Commonwealth twice. Mm. Um, Liam's won the Southern area, English and British. 
So it's the last belt for both of them. So it, it means so much. And like I heard Liam say in an interview with Matram that he kind of feels like he should be Commonwealth champion already because when he beat Joshua Wahab, I mean, that was a 12-round tough fight, which which really should have been for the Commonwealth title. But at the time, Zelfa Barrett had it. And um, so, yeah, it's it's just walking out with both belts will be a dream. You know, it will be it will be such a good feeling. And I have no doubt that Liam's going to do it. What what does uh what have I asked that question? What does it mean? Yeah, that's what we just said. We, that's oh. what we just said. Yeah, it's just um like I said, it, it'll be a, it'll be a dream. It'll be a dream, and it will push Liam on to big things after this. Mhm. Mm because no, not looking past Belotti, but win this, and it gets you like with those uh, names like Gill Barrett sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, you can never look past anyone, especially Reese, because he is a, he is a good fighter. Reese, very good fighter, and like I say, where where we do know each other. And also there's a bit of local rivalry there because they only train down the road from us, really. So there's that local rivalry as well where, like, our friends know Reese or their friends know us. And, it's yeah, so you've got the local rivalry as well. Um, but it does, yeah, you can't, you can't help but think, bloody hell. I mean, if, if we win tonight, we're on to big things after. And especially in these smaller weights, you know what I mean? Like the super feathers and that. You just don't know what, what can come up around the corner. Mm -hmm. Is it is it Liam's first time fighting at the O2? Yes. Yeah. He's until we went to until we went to Newcastle. It was his first time out of your call. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All his other fights had been at your call. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All all of his fights because obviously I didn't do the first part of his career. He was with another trainer, but um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every fight's been at your call, apart from when we went to Newcastle. That was a nice little away day. How and many tonight... fights have you been training Liam for? And uh, when did Born you stop? Out. How many um, years have you been a, a trainer, well, coach for? Uh, I've been a trainer, professional trainer now, about three, four, four years. But I know Liam, me and Liam used to box together. So um, back in the day. So I've known Liam for a long time, a long time. I've probably since I, I mean, I'm 32 now. So probably since Liam was, since I've known Liam since I was about 19 years old, really, 20 years old. So I've known him a long time. We used to box together. Um, and that's pretty much how I got a few of my fighters at the start, just from boxing with them. Mm -hmm. um, before I let you go, um, what what do you know what time Liam will roughly be fighting? I think they're scheduling it for about half nine, obviously, because it depends. Obviously, it depends if there's knockouts or whatever. But mm. I think they're scheduling for, I think, ring walk around half nine. I, I don't think it'd be much earlier than that. Half nine, can't... ten, sort of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, around because there's not, there's, I think there's only seven or eight fights tonight. Something like that. And the first fight's at 5 30, something. Yeah, I think so. Five thirty, six o'clock. Obviously, you got you got three on before the bell, and then the bell and then starts put, at. And then, they, and then the main bill starts at seven. Main bill starts at seven, and like, like I think there's only five fights on the main bill. Oh yeah, including yeah. Liam's fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, you've got um. A few ten round. Yeah. They're ten rounds. You got, and eight rounds. Yeah, you got a ten round. I think you got two ten rounders. I think. Yeah, I think you've got Shannon Ryan, well. uh, Jasmine, and, and then you've got Craig Richards. Christ yeah, Craig, then... Craig's is, um, I think that's a 10 as well. Yeah. And Cam Cameron Vong's, I think, has got an eight. Yeah, Cameron Vong's in eight, yeah, eight rounds. Yeah, he's kind of main event. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so thank you for your, thank you for your time, Ross, and all the best with Liam tonight. That's all right, mate. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having us on, Sam. Thank you. Good luck. See you later, mate. Bye. Bye-bye.